Justin with Guard Defense Solutions. Today, Justin's going to teach us how to get offensive uh, if we didn't reduce our fist fight down to one fist to get into like a clinch position like we typically like to teach. Um, so, Justin, take it away, bro. Yeah, so, I mean, a after every seminar we do, we always do uh, a QA and a and suggestions. And one, one of the big things was more takedowns. And a lot of times, like, if you find yourself in a find yourself in a fight, you don't always get down to that one punch. If I, if we get in, in, end up to the spot where we're sitting here going here, I know I have to try to get the person down and get them detained. So offensively, if I'm not closing that distance or if I'm getting struck and I have to back up a little bit and now I want to take him out, I want to be offensive. You know, it's really easy to teach wrestling techniques and how to take people down, but it creates that other dynamic when people are getting punched. And for me, I, my background's in MMA and wrestling or whatever, but I'd, I'd done it long enough to like kind of blend them together and it, what works well for me is if I'm being offensive I have to change level like it, we're going to cover a couple of our principles it's going to be distance management we're going to create an angle we're going to change level all in basically one motion um, so I, now I'm getting hit I'm here and I, I want to take him down offensively now I'm throwing heavy, I'm throwing back right and what I'm going to do I'm going to throw, throw an overhand right but when I do I'm going to change my angle my feet here when I throw this punch, see how he brings his hands up? This is my opening to get to his center of gravity, and that's what I need to take him down. I just created a 45 degree angle with my foot. My trajectory is gonna be the same. I'm gonna be straight. My momentum's going straight through him, but I'm changing levels and I created an angle. Now I'm at a 45 degree angle. I started from back there. I'm still ending up this way. At this point, I can still lock, lock my hands around his legs. And as I lift, I can drive with my head to the side control position. I can start working towards my other stuff. Let's, let's walk through it again. Sure. So I found myself in a fight, and, and I'm not, I'm not in a position I want to be, and I want to get down. Now I'm throwing heavy. Boom. Here, see, we get that reaction. He, he, he's clenched up. He saw the punch. It has to be a believable punch. I can't just go, or just, or even like a, a straight right. I want this to be a real big dramatic punch. Boom. And I step. So again, as I'm coming in, I'm, I can throw whatever combinations I want. Once I'm ready to throw this overhand right, boom. My left hand is up just in case he's got some kind of weird kick there. If you watch UFC or some kind of fighting, he just- Flying knee kind of guy. Flying knee kind of guy. If he throws a kick, go ahead and throw a kick. I'm blocked. My, my body's blocked, my head's blocked. I take the step here. My second step here. I'm, I'm still in a straight line. My body's at a 45 to his. I can use my head for leverage and I grab underneath his center of gravity. When I go to lift, I use my head to drive to cut his legs off to the side, okay? So let's just, if you're not in the way. Oh, that's how it was. So if, if I'm coming straight on, as I throw this punch here, I, I angle out with my foot, I'm here, I'm blocking my body, I come here, I'm still driving forward, boom back down. I started there and I'm coming in a straight line. And the only thing that changes for my ankle is my, my footwork. Alright, now let's just see it at full speed. I'm here. I'm covering. I'm in a fist fight. Boom, boom, boom. All the way to the mat. You have anything to add? No, sir. Feel, feel, feel good? Uh, yeah. But so, so the reason we do this, if, say, say I'm a police officer and He's a suspect and he's fine. He doesn't want to get taken down. If he knows I want to take him down, if I just go take a shot, he's going to go here. Or if he's throwing off punches, it's not going to work. And I'm not, it's going to be hard for me to take a shot if he's hitting me in the face. I'm not going to like this. So, and so this is an instance where we're fighting. It's situational. And I'm ready to fight back. I don't care what combination I'm throwing. Big overhand right. Step, step, up, back down. It's really explosive, it's really effective. And you just need that small gap to get his hands up to create space to get down to your center of gravity. Good to go? Perfect. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, check out our other links at guarddefense.com and our YouTube channel.